get you what you want But you want me alone I get you what you want Okay, y'all, so I am back in my room. Okay, so I stopped my workout, bro. <laughs> I have literally scratched my legs up. So, I don't know if y'all ever have, like, walked outside, ran outside, and you're walking and running, and then all of a sudden, it's like your legs are itching. Like, almost like you're having an allergic reaction, but it's like, even when you scratch your legs, it does nothing. It's like the itch is, like, internal. What is that called? I mean, I'm scratching, but it's not helping. You tick. Aria? CU for sure. It's caused by your blood vessels expanding as your heart pumps more blood through your body during a period of physical activity. Also known as runner's itch. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. I still got some love deep inside of me. You know, need to lie to me. I know you got a guy. He's not a guy to me. Just say goodbye to him and then say goodbye to me. Ride to me. I still got some love deep inside of me. Please drag it out of me. It's your Hey guys, so I'm currently in the weight room, like bathroom or locker room or whatever. Um, I could not record that practice today simply because I was learning a new throw and coach was doing a whole bunch of like one-on-one -on -one technical stuff with me. So I didn't really have time to be like picking up my camera, propping it up, setting it up, recording all of that. But we're going to hit the weight room. So I am about to bring y'all along with me for that. So yeah, let's go. I don't know why these hoes can't stand me I guess I'm too demanding When they hit a double coat, the candy I'm so high, no landing Keep a neck like they're steady Rockin' this shit, come fatty They all let it go on the telly They all wanna roll my belly I got my guns, y'all don't pop it at the reach I got them coming in, shit look like a blitz She wanna check me out, she wanna check my feet I pull up the main back, jumpin' shawty, but it's check my I don't know why they all can stand me I guess I'm too demanding Private landing I guess I keep my candy She's super so good With a beach sandy Smart What you wanna say? Oh shit uh, Fuck money you bitches What you wanna say? Um, well, congrats to me, you know. I just made a million dollars last Bro, he lying. What's the deal with y'all boys? Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. Right. What's the deal with y'all boys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. So, it is currently like... 6 15 so i did wake up this morning at 5 a.m but like i woke up and your girl was just going through it like i just feel like i'm trying like very hard with a lot of things in life right now but i'm not necessarily seeing the results and that's what's frustrating out of school goals i'm doing okay like i'm not out here failing or nothing but it does get frustrated when I think about the work and stuff that I have to like catch up on when I'm going and, and when I miss class it's like you can't do all of the work because you wasn't even in class to see it but it's not your fault because you had to be gone I didn't have that energy to get up this morning like to get out of bed at 5 so yeah I'm actually about to um I'm not gonna go on a walk this morning because I'm still not really feeling it I'm just trying to basically get my headspace together today like right now this morning I'm basically trying to get my headspace together I have a longer schedule today because I have two classes um 
Yeah, so. I don't know why these hoes can't stand me I guess I'm too demanding When they hit a double coat the candy I'm so high, no landing Keep an neck like they're steady Rockin' this shit confetti They all let it go on the telly They all wanna roll my belly I got my guns out, I'm poppin' at the reach I got them coming in, shit look like a blitz She wanna check me out, she wanna check my fit I pull up the main back, jumpin' shawty, but it check my Okay, y'all, so I am now in my theology classroom. Um, it's only like 12, 15. We don't start class until 1. But I had, um, I don't know, I just didn't feel like going to my dorm or nothing or sitting in the student center. So I just decided to come in here. So I did go to the student center to go get lunch, which I got my chicken wrap. So I went and got lunch, and now I'm just sitting here, probably finna watch YouTube or something. Um, math class was okay. I was a little frustrated simply because, like I told y'all, I missed class last week because of track. And so I was kind of confused, and I think the only reason that it kind of, like, worried me just a little bit is because we have an exam, our first exam in that class on Thursday. And I also have an exam in this class on Thursday, too. So it's like, a lot going on. So I'm just kind of like, eh, because I hate, like, not being confident or sure in myself. So that's kind of, that kind of was affecting me because I definitely felt, like, frustrated. I started off class feeling frustrated. Once we got, like, towards the last, like, 35, 40 minutes of class, I felt better about what we were doing in class. And, like, knowing the work, I think I felt better about it. But, um, yeah. Just had to give y'all that little debrief or whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to watch YouTube, eat my food. Wait till class start. I think today in this class we're just doing a review because of the exam. Obviously, I don't know how we're doing a review. I don't know if it's like a whole class thing, a group thing. I don't know. I just know we're supposed to be reviewing for our tests. So, yeah. Uh, I find it so hard for me to actually record content in class. Simply because, okay, so like my math class, my teacher, she does not like electronics. Well, she don't like us to have our phones out. Like, she wants us to have phones up. But normally I have my phone up, but my MacBook still be on my desk. And when I bring my camera, my camera's on my desk. But it still feels weird when I'm trying to record, like, content of me in class. Because, like, professors are just different now. Like, in my kinesiology class that I have on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, he don't care. Dr. Kalube do not care. Like, he really don't care. He, he seen the camera and was like, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. Like, he's one of those teachers. But with my other professors, they a little weird. Like... They're a little iffy. So I'd be like, should I, should I not? But yeah. <coughs> 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 Some time later, not gonna lie to y'all, I've been very bad about vlogging today. My plan for the rest of the night is I don't have any homework or anything that I have to like do tonight, like turn in tonight. I can always study for my exams, of course, um, but I for sure need to do laundry tonight because the laundry basket is currently sitting over there overflowing as we speak um i really want to sweep and mop my floor because for some reason my floors in my room get dirty like hella fast i feel like i'm always sweeping i'm always mopping my floors but that's the only way i can like be at peace is when i do that and i noticed that in my dorms is it like this that y'all like y'all are in college or do y'all dorms get like dusty like your desktops like on top of my fridge like by my window where I like sit my like phone and stuff at night when I sleep it's so dusty and it gets dusty so fast but yeah I want to clean up like do a little you know some little tidying up in my room
like it's tough. Good morning, y'all. So it is eleven fifty-six. Yeah, eleven fifty-six. Your girl definitely did not wake up at five a.m. this morning. Like when I tell you, y'all, I didn't even hear an alarm. Y'all, I literally missed my nine a.m. class. I woke up at ten o'clock. But at the same time, I did go to sleep late last night, so that's kind of my fault. And yeah, but um, so today is Wednesday, February twenty first. So um, yeah, it's Wednesday, February twenty first. Um, I have a few things to do today. Um, first off, at twelve fifteen, I have to do go to a meeting with my RA. Basically, it's like a check in that they do with the freshmen, you know, just to make sure we're good, see how things are going, if we need help with anything, stuff like that. So I gotta go meet with her at twelve fifteen. So in about twenty minutes, then I'm low key thinking about going to the weight room early today. I'm thinking about doing weight going workout before practice, like going lift before uh, throwing practice today. Um, I also have to study for my theology and math exam today because both of them are tomorrow, and I'm a little like <sighs> shaking in my boots. And also, so BSU is having a party tomorrow night, and it is dress as your favorite um artist so i have an artist in mind but i gotta go through my clothes to see like what i can put together to kind of like mimic this artist so i gotta do that tonight as well but that's really it the bulk of it is really just gonna be like me trying to prep for these tests because yeah yeah so yeah i haven't ate or anything yet so after my meeting with emmy i'm probably gonna go I don't know if I want diner hall food. I think I'm gonna go to the diner, the Lucky's Diner, that's in our student center, and go grab lunch and stuff like that. It's for us to sit down later tonight, later in this video, and do our little like life update chit chat. I'm literally watching Jada Jonay's life update right now, and honestly, she does hers to where she makes like a full video dedicated to her life update. I don't feel like I have enough supporters for that. <laughs> So I'm just going to throw mine in this vlog instead of like making a whole separate um, thing, like separate video. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to get back to y'all later. This is not my good one. <laughs> what the frick? Oh my god. Oh. 
I hate this one. It's so flimsy. Jonas. Tired. Me too. I'm tired too. You're always hungry. It's okay. Because I'm big, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm kinda hungry too. Cause I, I had got a burger from Lucky's for lunch and it was so mid, bro. Hot burger. The it was high. The way it came off, it was definitely higher than the other ones. Mm. But it wasn't as far. Mm. It's like a rainbow. I mean, it's gold at the end of the rainbow, remember? Mm -hmm. Didn't they say that? Hey y'all, so I am currently walking to the student center again to meet up with Savannah so that we can study for this theology exam tomorrow because yeah, I haven't even looked at the study guide, but <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go study um i also need to look over some math work because i do have a math exam in the morning at 10 30 and i have missed a couple of those classes so it's a bit nervous just a little bit not too bad but definitely just a little bit but um yeah that's where we're going hey. <laughs> all right y'all we got to study for the steel exam i have already failed one exam semester i'm not uh, really? to remember yeah. yeah sucks to be me sucks to freaking be me I'm for the essay questions i'm about to like read over the four that he got on here and like type up because it's four of them on the paper and he was like out of the four that he put on here is gonna be two so i might as well like you might as well look over the notes and like for each other essay questions go ahead and type up like two three paragraphs that way you already got an idea of the answer to the questions or powerpoints i mean the powerpoints i feel like those would probably help us the most with the true or false and stuff because his powerpoints are pretty like straight into the point Good morning. Hey y'all. So yeah. It is day four. Today is Thursday, February 22nd. It is currently around close to seven-ish now. I did wake up at five. And I'm currently I have been working on math which is why I have I'm just now getting on the camera because of course I told y'all I have my math exam today as well as my theology exam the math I'm more worried about my math exam than my theology exam but yeah so right now I'm currently like going over the different um things that's going to be on the math exam like the different types of problems and stuff i'm just doing like some practice problems and working like working through them just to make sure you know i got what i need to have like i understand it so yeah that's basically what i'm doing right now um probably gonna work about on this until i don't know i think until until i get through all of the topics at 9 15 and get ready because i do want to go get breakfast before class to make sure my gears are running you know get myself some energy because i do have two exams so i need to make sure everything is functioning this morning so yeah and the whole reason i made me some coffee this morning is actually because i woke up and my throat is a little croggy like it doesn't hurt but it's a little you know <clears throat> you know gotta start the engine this morning so that's why i made me some coffee and normally i'm not a fan of hot coffee i love me some iced coffee like iced coffee has my heart i don't normally do like the hot coffee but i needed it today so yeah i'm gonna catch back up with y'all on camera later on probably after breakfast or right before breakfast i'm not sure but y'all let's see 
Okay, y'all, so let's have like a debriefing, debriefing moment or whatever. So, um, finished the math test. Um, we did take it on paper, of course. So, I actually have like no idea like when we'll actually get the grade on the test. Um, personally, I think I did okay. I believe I should pass. But there's also like this voice in the back of my head that's like, uh, because look, so I had an exam last week for kinesiology that I failed, even though I thought I was prepared. So it's kind of like that little annoying voice in the back of my head that's kind of like, don't get too excited because I'm like, I have no idea. I know there's at least three questions that I tried to work out, but I never came to answer to. So I never like put an official answer on the paper. So I'm already knowing that like, I'm probably gonna get points off. I mean, she might give me partial credit for actually trying to work the problem out. I'm not sure how she's gonna grade because this is our first exam for her. So I'm not sure if she does partial credit or things like that for like problems we didn't finish, but tried to do, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so I feel okay. I, I will say the one thing I'm proud of, I did not give up. Like, y'all, that class is an hour and 15 minutes long. When I tell you when the hour and 15 minutes was over, I was the last person that, no, it was me and one other guy. We were the last people. Like, we're the only two that actually stayed the whole class time and did our best. I'm not gonna say the other people didn't do their best. Some of them could've just knew the material, but I kid you not, y'all, we had people literally getting up 10 minutes after she gave out the test and just turn their papers in. Baby, you couldn't do a single, you couldn't do a single page on that test in 10 minutes. I don't care how good you were because of the amount of problems. So that's why I'm like, at least I can say I did my very best. I tried my very best. Um, so yeah, um, that's how I'm feeling. I think I did pretty good. I will say a majority of the grades in her class come from homework grades like we get a lot of a lot a lot, a lot of homework grades so if i didn't do that well i don't think it'll like hurt my overall class grade too bad but it's like yeah i don't know i will say i think overall no matter what the outcome was i did my very best on the test i think i did my very best so we just gonna cross our fingers pray to god and just see what that test grade look like i'm pretty sure this was my last time going to her for the week because it is thursday i only go to that class on tuesdays and thursdays so i'm pretty sure she probably won't grade it until like over the weekend and she'll probably give it back to us next tuesday when we go to class so yeah and i'm not sure i'm not sure what type of content i'm uploading next week on youtube that's something else i have to think about but anyways guys okay we are back in action so i got my phone fixed um it wasn't any damage to my charger port or anything and she was able to literally like pluck it out in like five minutes so she didn't even she didn't even um she didn't even charge me charge she didn't even charge me for doing it because she was able to get it out so easily so i'm at, i'm literally in the walmart parking lot just got a new charger and just bought a new SD card for my camera because my camera kept saying car full. It's been saying car full for like a month. And I go lie, I just be deleting stuff. But I got me a new SD card that I just put in and it's it has more gigabytes as well. So yeah. Happy about that. For sure. So um yeah, um I'm gonna get back to y'all later I'm, I'm gonna actually find something to eat out here somewhere out here and then we're gonna go back to the campus because i don't yeah i'm kind of tired i told y'all i'm like running off for two hours of sleep yeah so yeah i went to class y'all literally went to class i had like 30 percent on my phone i've been running off a of 30 percent of battery since what five o'clock but i wasn't really on my phone this morning before i went to class and stuff i was um i was just on my ipad and stuff like trying you know basically not to um be on my phone you know so y'all gonna get some food it's it's now 12 o'clock so i went to class from 9 9 50 had my meeting with my um Peer mentor at 
1040 to 1050 then I had to drive 20 minutes to get over here then I went to the store when I got to the phone place I had to wait because she had somebody in there already she did that it took about five minutes so yeah I've been in Walmart for about 30 minutes so yeah it's already noon and I'm not gonna lie my eyes are like Ugh. but here's the thing I'm trying to teach myself to be disciplined because I was like yo ass knew you was getting up at 5 a.m. so why did you go to the club and then get back to the dorm till after 3 a.m. so that's my fault so I'm like still made myself I was like fuck it you're gonna make yourself get up because you wanted to do this that's your that's your problem but I promise you I'm not going out for a while it's gonna be a while before y'all see dad's out again I'm gonna be in the dorm in the house chilling okay but um yeah I'm gonna get some food they got a Taco Bell Chick-fil-a honestly I don't in the McDonald's right here I don't really want they got Popeyes that's where I'm going I said Popeyes sign I'm definitely going to Popeyes I love me some Popeyes yeah, I'm definitely going to Popeyes because I don't want like McDonald's and all that. I can get that at school. Popeyes, we ain't got no Popeyes over there, so and they got a Canes, but Canes, I don't know. I don't want Canes. I'd much rather Popeyes over Canes. So yeah, I'm gonna get my food. We gonna catch back up once I make it back to campus, and yeah, that's just that. Okay, y'all. So we're going to wrap the video up today. But before we do that, you know, I've been saying this whole time I wanted to give you guys a life update. So that's exactly what we're about to do right now. Okay, the whole waking up at 5 a.m. Um, I kind of failed because one day there was one day I didn't wake up at 5 a.m. and then there's a, there's like two days where I didn't like wake up at 5 a.m. And get active like I kind of laid in bed for a minute and stuff so we kind of failed this time plus I just had a lot of unexpected things and situations that happened this week that kind of threw me off but I will be doing this again um I really think this is something I know that waking up at 5 a.m. is honestly is not realistic for the way my life is with my schedule my workload I know it's not realistic when it comes to those terms but most definitely this is something that i will probably start doing whether i record it or not every first week of like the month so as like people do a lot of monthly resets i do believe i'm going to start doing this like the first week of every month to just get myself on track to be as successful as i can possibly be for that month you know what i'm saying so Overall, I do like waking up at 5 a.m. I do feel like on the days where I actually woke up, got right out of bed, I was very productive. I had way more energy than I normally do. So, and all honesty, it wasn't a fail to me. It was a learning experience for sure because I did learn things that I should do or incorporate with waking up that early and, you know, things of, of, in that nature. But most definitely when I say that this was a bad idea, I'm definitely happy that I did it happy that I'm sharing it with y'all because y'all are like my family and you know I like to keep y'all in the loop okay now let's get down to the 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 gritty the like real gritty deal of like what's been going on in my life okay let's what's been going on in my life Okay, so I know, I'm not sure what day that was, but I know I opened up the vlog that day and I was just like, y'all, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it. And yeah, we, we're about to get into that. Give me a second. I need to drink some water because my voice is, okay. So, um, let's talk about school. School as a whole, as far as school, as far as classes go as well as being a student athlete i love being a student athlete i would not trade it for anything um y'all know i was a student athlete in high school of course i played sports in middle school i love being a student athlete it just it does take a lot it takes a lot of discipline it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of mental capacity as well but i love doing it um Y'all been on this journey with me, with my track career, since my very first college meet a few weeks back. And now we're getting ready to start outdoor season next, not, yeah, next week. Next week is our first outdoor season 
um, competition and of course I'm bringing you guys along with me because that's a given um, but I don't know in in a way I was disappointed in the way I performed in indoor season but I had to give myself grace that's one thing that I feel like I lack is I lack grace I lack I always go so hard on myself that it frustrates me and in a way I tear my own self down because I'm just like trying to figure too many things out at once like it's just too much bun bundled up that I'm trying to like figure out so yeah but I'm still excited about you know track this season and what outdoor would be like I really feel like as far as outdoor goes I will perform way better than I have in indoor so I'm definitely excited for outdoor season as y'all seen I've been going to the gym I've been you know going to practice like I'm supposed to I've been putting in the work so I have no choice but to repay myself from for, for all of the hard work that I've been putting in okay so yeah we just gonna sum up that like that's school that's track that's student athlete all that together next we're going to get into my personal life as far as back home outside of school um that is very eh and when I say eh like it's been eh for some time um I know in a couple of vlogs back I kind of gave y'all a little insight on uh the situation with my mom and her divorce and things like that and I feel my eyes tearing up and I don't want to cry but so basically if you're new here you did you haven't seen that vlog because I can't necessarily remember which vlog it was not gonna lie I just remember talking about it um my mom and my stepdad were together for I believe 18 almost 18 years it was like 17 years um so me and my bi bi biological father have never had a relationship we've never um yeah we've never been close he's never really been in my life he's never really supported me he's never really done anything it's just it's just been a back and forth back and forth so for me um uh, my stepdad raised me like my stepdad and my mom have been together since i was two years old so i've been living with this man since i was two years old okay um so i'm not gonna get into too many details as far as their their stuff go but for me when they started when they separated he basically separated from me as well so me being me i already have fought the daddy issues i know that i have a lot of issues that i need to work on and i'm thinking about therapy but i still have not like I don't know taking that initial step to get therapy but we're gonna work on it we're gonna work on it <laughs> we're gonna work on it so basically like I think a lot happened when when they got it started getting into it or having their issues which there was things that was done and said that affected not only my mom but affected me it affected my brother um I think I was just torn because I still kind of expected him to be around and in my life because of the fact that like bro you raised me like I'm 19 you've been with me since I was two years old you know what I'm saying so I kind of expected him to still be vital in my life but because he's not and we have not talked so we have not talked in a year it's about to be a year we moved out of the house last they're still in the divorce process right now but we had we moved out of the house and out into our own me and my mom in march of 2023 it is february of 2024 and i have not talked to him since we moved out like probably weeks before we moved out we 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 were already like nobody in the house was really talking you know all of that and i just i'm starting to realize that i do have a lot of parental issues not just with him not just with my biological dad but with my mom as well and this is not going to be a bash anybody party it's not but i'm just getting to a point to where i'm older now and i'm just realizing like 
you have to start calling the shots for yourself. No matter who gets mad, no matter who has an opinion, you have to start doing what you feel like is going to to help you the most. Because at the end of the day, everybody gonna have their opinion, but ain't nobody gonna have to deal with it. Like everybody can tell you what they think you should do, but they're not the ones that's going through it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, my relationship as far as my parents go, it's a little, it's it's mm, it's very rocky. Not gonna lie, it's very rocky. Um, yes, me and my mom communicate. Is it the best communication all the time? No, it's not. But it's not like we hate each other. I never hate my mama. I never, you know what I'm saying? Like I never be on no type, no type of time like that. But I'm just kind of. I think I'm finding my own path, my own voice when it comes to family. Cause you know it's easy. Like it's hard when you finally get to that. It's easy having your own voice. I'm not gonna say easy. It's always hard finding your own voice. But it's even harder finding your own voice when it comes to like your parents and your family and you know people in your family that's older than you. It's kind of hard. But I think I'm finally finding that pathway for me. Like that voice that you know. I'm finding me all together. Like I'm finding me as a person all together. Okay so yeah that's that um let's get into what else health okay so if i'm being honest i know y'all have probably noticed it and maybe i'm overreacting but i know that since i've gotten to college i have gained weight um so the fact of if i work out that's not in question because y'all see it all the time the fact of if i am i active is not an issue because like i said y'all see it all the time but i'm definitely noticing that's that like the stress of like my family situation like dealing with those things as and being at like being away from everybody like being out here at school and i'm not close to any family that has definitely taken a toll on me, y'all. The double chin has been double chinning. Like, let's be for real. My health, mm, mental health, my mental health has definitely affected my physical health. Now, I am active. I, I do all of that, but I do stress eat. So, that's a problem. Um, so, I know y'all know earlier in this week when I had the breakout, I'm pretty sure that that was a breakout because of stress when my face that one day where my face had like bumps everywhere, pretty sure that was from stress. And I don't know, I'm confident in my body, but I think lately because I've been so stressed out and like really this week, and I think it's because I was on camera so much, I started noticing like my body, the shape of my body, like my double chin, my face, and I'm just like, dang, like, bro, I look big. I look bigger than what I want to be. Let's say that. Now, trust me, I'm still a bad bitch, okay? But I definitely look bigger than what I want to. So I'm trying to like take into consideration that and figure out things that can help me lessen my stress and you know things I can incorporate in my health that um, can help me with my body weight and my confidence as far as my body goes. Um, so yeah, that's that. Next, um, the last thing I'm going to talk about that I want to update y'all on is like relationships and friendships or whatever um so i have friends as y'all see i hang out with people but i don't have like if i'm just being honest i don't have anybody here at school that i'm just like click tight with like i will tell you like that i can tell my whole life story to or tell all of my deepest deepest you know issues anything feelings to and that's a little hard when you're in college because like i said for me i'm not close to any family y'all i'm seven hours away from any of my family because yeah because i've got to tell y'all so my mom y'all know we were living in dallas she was in dallas that's only four hours away from him she has now moved back to louisiana so i'm literally like four hours away from i mean seven hours away from any family now and so not having somebody close like that like near me is hard of course y'all know sanai 
I talk to Sanaa all the time. Trust me, she gets she gets the bulk of everything. She gets the she's that one true friend that she gets the bulk of every single thing. She gets every single detail. She gets it. But um yeah, so I think as far as friendship goes, I have friends, but I don't have like family. Let's say that. I don't have friends who <clears throat> they're in the they're in the thick and the thin of it with me at all times. No. Uh relationships goes, I'm right now on a new journey of celibacy. Um just because I I feel like I don't know. I don't feel like anybody is worthy of me right now. And when I say that, don't get me wrong. I know I'm not the biggest prize. Like I know, I know I have shit I have to work on, but I just don't feel like I'm I'm in the place, and I have I'm not with anybody, or I'm not talking to anybody who's in that place of having me. I take um like giving my body to people extremely serious, and. Yeah, there was a situation that happened not too long ago and the whole situation just disappointed me and with and I was just like like I'm not gonna go into details because it's a lot but I was just like yeah like no ma'am you're not gonna go down this path you are not going to lessen your 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 self value you're not gonna you're not gonna do any of that you no you got things you're trying to do you have goals so we gonna focus on those goals we're not letting anybody get in between so yeah we have that situation so right now i'm not dating uh i never went into i never get into my dating life on here i think i've never talked to y'all about it but i'm technically like single now yeah i don't we're not even gonna get into that but like just know yeah i'm being i'm on a new journey of celibacy um i'm not looking today if i'm being honest um like i don't really like texting people back i don't like when people flirt i don't really flirt back i'm very distant i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm just not interested i'm not i'm just not really interested so yeah to all my ladies out there y'all it's okay to be celibate it's okay to you know not like just just don't just don't accept anything just don't just don't let somebody throw anything at you and you accept it that's all i'm saying just it's not going to be celibate because i feel like in college everybody's like oh this is your time to be wild crazy no in a way yeah it's your time to be free you can do what you want to do but that don't mean you should always do that like that don't mean you know make dumb decisions that yeah I don't know. I don't know. That's we just gonna leave that at that. So yeah, um, that is the end of our little life update or whatever the case may be. <laughs> um, I know there was a little. Ugh, I kind of just ramble. It might have been all over the place. I'm sorry, y'all. But um, if you still have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, y'all. I really want to hit 500 subscribers soon. <laughs> and I know y'all proud of me. Like I have been so consistent so freaking consistent clap applause yeah um so be on the lookout for new content post notification bell should be on by now or you should turn it on like right now yeah because i have a ton of um content coming for y'all be sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok as well because i definitely will be posting more on both of those social sites as well and yeah that's really it i'm gonna see y'all in the next video as always i love y'all and bye